each year annually, I'd go to Sacramento to the Jazz Festival and I could walk a mile, no problem. The year before last, I began to notice I was slowing down. I had to stop twice on the walk back. I saw the doctor and they identified it as the aorta heart valve wasn't functioning properly and it wasn't going to get better by itself. Severe aortic stenosis is a calcific process where the aortic valve becomes narrowed and obstructed by calcific deposits. As it gets tighter and tighter, the heart is working harder and harder, generating higher pressures to pump the blood to the body. So the heart's working very hard and you want to relieve that overload with a new valve. These patients who we could before offer nothing except medicines and, and supportive care, this does give them for the first time hope because something can be done to treat this otherwise fatal disease. These valves traditionally has to be put in through an open heart operation. So the new procedure, what we call transcatheter aortic valve implantation, is put this valve on a little catheter. So we will crimp this valve down from about uh, an inch and a quarter to about uh, six millimeters, which is you know, about an eighth of an inch. And then insert that catheter through the leg or through the chest and position it into the old valve while the heart is still beating. Then we inflate the balloon and that stretches this metal tube or stent out and it squishes up the old valve and creates a new passageway for blood to leave the heart. Sewn onto the inside of that stent or tube are new valve leaflets that open and close in the normal fashion and allow blood to leave the heart normally and prevent it from coming back in. For patients who are very sick, traditional open heart operation may not even be an option. The reason is that the surgeons will felt that these patients are way too sick for them to undergo a traditional open heart operation. So in this trial called partner trial, we're taking this very good sick group of patients and see whether this is better than doing nothing. Okay, here we go. All right. The walk at Sacramento identifying that I had a problem was great indirectly because it proved that I needed something to be done he couldn't even get to the front door before the uh, surgery. The day before, I said, don't even come to the door. I'll come over and come in. After he got out of surgery, in fact, he said, wow, I feel great. I can breathe. <laughs> and I said, what? You can tell already? And he said, oh, oh yeah, look. <gasps> and he's breathing like normal again. It was unbelievable. I mean, it was a cakewalk. I mean, I went in and all of a sudden I'm walking out the door again. I thought, what happened in the intervening, intervening hours? I think the greatest and most obvious um, difference is that the patients do not require a sternotomy or a, or a chest incision. That's a, a big advantage. And also their ability to recover and regain activity, I think, is quickened in the patients that receive the transfemoral valve. I think it's a fair assessment to say that, that we've been able to certainly maintain, if not maybe even improve a little bit, his quality of life. This aortic valve insertion implantation through a catheter is still an experimental procedure, meaning that FDA has been very involved in the design of the trials. The data has been presented, uh, and that shows that uh, patients treated with this new type of procedure when they're very sick actually has a greater than 60% improvement of not dying from this condition. Some of the results from the partner trial have come out and they found that at 30 days uh, there was about a 5% stroke rate with the transcatheter approach. But when you compare sort of the risk to doing nothing, these patients you know, will go on to die if they have no treatment. Still, this is an experimental approach. We think this will eventually become available commercially. Currently at this time, it's still only available in the United States through uh, the trial. For a patient that currently this condition, the FDA allows us to continue to do some of this uh, procedure. At the same time, there's a new trial coming up as well called Partner 2, which allows us to use smaller catheter, the newer generation, to treat the same condition as well. It is a major medical paradigm shift. The only thing that rivals this in terms of the, its powerful impact on patients is heart transplantation in 1968. So we see this as a major uh, step forward there's still a lot to be learned, but it's, we can offer patients something we never could before, and that's pretty exciting. You can't believe it. It's, it's only been since August 9th, I guess. Yeah, he's like brand new again, all the way. I can walk now around the block, around the house, and uh, do whatever I want to do without any compunction. It's just great. 
It's like having your life given back to you.